The National Emergency Response Committee tackling the COVID-19 outbreak met Sunday for the first time following President Uhuru Kenyatta's executive orders that acknowledge coronavirus as a matter of international concern. Led by Health CS Mutai Kagwe, they assured Kenyans trapped in Wuhan that they are working on evacuation plans. We will we consort uh, through our embassy in, uh, in China and our foreign affairs ministry here, how we are going to proceed forward and how we feel about the whole thing and the risks, the risks involved. Because we also don't want uh, to bring a, a, you know, so many people together that perhaps we need to be infected even those who are not infected within China. Kagwe urging relatives and loved ones of those stuck in Wuhan not to panic as the committee will send them an additional 10 million shillings for their upkeep. The people who came in the plane are not from Wuhan. All right? They're not from Wuhan. If they had been from Wuhan, we would not even accept them. They would not even come here because they are not even coming out. You know, the Chinese themselves have locked the place out. We have got over 3,000 Kenyans in China, and we do not want to have a situation where people are responding in kind. Let us not abuse. While exuding confidence that the country's coronavirus testing capacity has been upscaled, Kagwe said that visitors accessing the country through any points of entry, be it air, land or water, will be issued with certificates upon being tested and cleared of the virus. In level 4 and level 5 hospitals, so between ourselves and national government, and the Council of Governors, therefore the county governments, we are going to be coordinated so that activities within the counties can also be ready. According to WHO, the number of those infected globally stands at 85,304, with the death toll standing at 2,924. Brenda Chariot, K24, Punchline.